So today on the YouTube channel, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be opening up a hobby box of the 2019-2020 Topps Chrome Bundesliga set. Now, I do wanna preference everybody and let them know that I'm probably going to pronounce a lot of these names incorrectly. So in the comments, please be nice. Uh, I am excited to open this up, so let's get going. So this box is, uh, let's see, 18 packs, four cards per box. I already sliced it, so you're not gonna see me slice it with scissors. Pretty excited. This is actually one of the more expensive boxes uh, I've opened. Shout out to Cage, who was one of my guys. He has a phenomenal podcast with another one of my friends, Andrew. Um, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this up first. I'm gonna crack it. We'll do the, um, how it would look in the hobby shop there. I think it comes with one guaranteed autograph. I'm actually just gonna look up their podcast quickly so I can give it to everybody. Cage, let's see. We'll um, actually take these out, so pretty cool. Box kinda, so we're hoping for Halan and Rania out of these packs. We'll just do this first one first. So we've got four cards per pack. So we've got first pack here. Like I said, we're waiting for, or we're looking for Holland and Rania are the two main rookies that are coming out of these packs. So if we can pull one of them, that would be phenomenal. So some of these names, I'm not even really going to like, we already got a silver. That's pretty cool. Uh, Griftich Florian. That's cool. Uh, let me grab the sleeves actually too here got our card sleeves it is the uh luca tiger lebron podcast is cage and andrew's podcast and like i said cage hooked me up with this box uh shipped it out i got it like a couple days after the release i've been waiting to do a youtube video on it because i wanted to uh, i guess we'll put that over here just for now this is actually my first pack opening so we'll see how this goes i don't even we'll just move that some ASMR here. Oh my gosh, I hope this doesn't happen with every pack there. So, uh, oh, McKinney, this is a guy. So McKinney is a player that is probably one of the most interesting Americans right now because he he has the he has a ton of potential where he's gonna be moving this summer, potentially, and then an insert, so an international flair. Uh, kind of cool. McKinney, I guess we'll put him in the, uh, the cool pile. <laughs> That's what we're gonna call it. So McKinney, he has a lot of suitors. That's what, at least that's what I've been hearing in the news. So like a Liverpool, I've heard, oh, this is kind of a damaged one. Look at that. It's unfortunate. At least it's, hopefully that doesn't happen with a Halan card that we pull. Uh, we're also looking, oh, wow, four red cards. Um, McKinney is potentially going to be Liverpool, I've heard. I've heard other teams in the Premier League uh, that are interested in him. Now, that would be huge. Like, he's an American player that last summer I was buying a ton of. This is a tricky one. He was an American player that I honestly probably have the most McKinney. Like, last summer I was buying McKinney and Polisic. Oh, we got a goalie that's a silver. We got a Nubel Alexander. Pretty cool. I guess we'll sleeve some of these up. I'll uh, take some more of these sleeves out. Um... So, like, I was buying a lot of his 2018, 2018 Topps Chrome cards. That's a cool one. 2018 Topps Chrome is going to be McKinney's. Or, uh, well, so, the, and then the interesting thing with McKinney, actually, is that he is, he is in the Topps Chrome Bundesliga product, and he's also in the Topps Chrome Champions League product. So, I was buying the... Topps Chrome Champions League cards. And they're from the weird thing that they do with these is that they're from the same year. Oh, Sergeant, this is actually really good. Oh, and then we have some color. We got a gold Raphael. That's gonna be numbered to 50. That's a I don't he looks kind of old, so I don't even I don't think that's necessarily a rookie card. We'll sleeve that one up. So 
the thing that they do with Topps Chrome Soccer is the Bundesliga uses the 28 or the, the previous year's design. So you'll see, obviously, this card, like these cards have the design from the previous year. Actually, well, actually, we'll leave it right here. So th these cards have last year's Topps design. And then Sargent, he's another American guy. I'll talk about him in a minute. Um, so what they... What they and I'm not 100% sure why they do this, but the so the Topps Chrome Bundesliga uses the previous year's Topps design. So this is the this is like for if you're a baseball fan, this is uh, the oh we got another silver here. This is like Vladimir Guerrero Jr.'s rookie year, um, Pete Alonso, Tatis. But then in the Ch Topps Chrome Champions League, that's when they do. That is when they use the new year of design. So, like, if you're getting any Topps Chrome Champions League, you're going to find that that next year, so, like, this year's baseball design is the one they use for the Champions League. So, like, with McKinney in 2018, they they had the 28 or the 2017 design for McKinney's Topps Chrome Champ or no, Topps Chrome Bundesliga card. And then the Topps Chrome, oh, another, uh, I think that this is a silver. I wonder, I wonder if it says. Oh, but these are some cool inserts, yeah. Future stars. But, so I was buying the Topps Chrome Champions League cards for McKinney over, well, I guess either or would be fine, but I was buying the, buying the Topps Chrome Champions League. Because, like I said, I don't know why they do it that way. But I would rather have the most uh, mainstream of the cards. So, like, the, in my opinion, the Topps Chrome Champions League is going to be a more desirable card than the Topps Chrome Bundesliga. I know we got another, oh, international flair. There is our first Geo Rania card. Hopefully we can, no, no more. Hopefully we can pull one of his regular cards because that is going to be a guy. Actually, I'm just going to move these. Move these silvers here and put the put the rainy card up there. I guess we'll adjust this a little bit. Um, so Sargent is another American guy. So he plays for Wonder of Berman, Bernan, Berman, however you pronounce it. So <laughs> luckily, they were on the verge of being Tyler Adams. This is actually a big one too. He's a big American player. So unfortunately, another silver. Uh, the sergeant's, sergeant's team uh, was on the verge of being relegated. Now, they aren't, which is good. Um, and I don't know exactly what it's going to take for him to move to maybe potentially another team. I think there's a chance that he may go somewhere, uh, depending on the demand for him. But... He is another American that I'm interested in. I believe he also has cards in 2018 tops, uh, no, 2018 Optic, uh, which has the rated rookie logo. Because if you are looking for Weston McKinney as well, he has cards from that set, from that Optic set. Um, and those cards have the rated rookie logo, where Tops doesn't really, like, they don't have a soccer rookie logo yet which I would imagine at some point in the future they will have a some sort of rookie-related soccer logo. I don't know when. I mean, they have, a, they have a UFC logo. Like, they have a UFC uh, rookie card logo. Actually, let me move these up here. Maybe put them out of the... There we go. So these are the American players. Tyler Adams is another good one. He... I don't know where if if he's going to be going somewhere, um, but he might. Oh, we got another. There's a bunch of silvers in here, but or refractor, I guess you could call it. Yeah, refractor. Put that in the good pile over there. Put this in the other pile. But so, uh, the rookie card logo. Tops has a rookie card logo for for UFC. Um, but they don't have one for soccer yet. International Flair, that's kind of cool. Uh, no Holland or Rania yet. Uh, so in the next few years, because we have seen, since 2018, we have seen Panini use, 
We have, we have seen Panini use the rookie card logo and the rated rookie logo as well. But, you know, and then the interesting thing is, like, for this year, let's see. Oh, we got, this is our autograph. It is, uh, oh, it's a gold autograph. So that's good. So it's, uh, uh, oh, hopefully this guy is good. I have no idea who he is. Uh, Andreich, Andre Kramick. Sorry, buddy. I do wish I knew who you were. You know, that is the one thing with the with the Topps Chrome Bundesliga that is sort of an issue is that I just don't really know most of the players in the sets. And I'm sure there's tons of, like, rookies, which would just be their basically their first-year cards because technically, like I said, there aren't rookies within soccer because of the way the way soccer is structured, basically, is, like, young players, they can go to, like, a team abroad – and it can be their first and other international flair card. They can, they can, it can be their first pro season. So we've got three packs left and we have not hit a Halan or a Rania. So the Rania card that I'm looking for, Geo Rania, he is another American player. Now I am glad that they pushed these releases back a little bit because what that did essentially was. I don't think Rania would have been in Topps Chrome Bundesliga if they hadn't been able to push it back. I don't think he is a short print in the product itself, but I don't think they... I think he's on the base checklist, but I don't think they would have included him if, if they had not pushed the product back because he made his debut kind of later on in the season and wasn't necessarily a starter. Like, he did play in the Champions League uh, against PSG, and I think he had an assist in the debut. He, he either had an assist or a goal. I forget off the top of my head which one it was. I'm sure someone in the comments will be able to tell me. But he had he played pretty well, and we're looking at him probably being a starter next season for Dortmund, which is really great. Now, Dortmund is going to be interesting next year because... Jaden Sancho is a player who is probably one of the top prospects in the soccer game right now that could be sold or could move this summer after the season, but we will see. So this is the last pack. Um, it would be unfortunate if we did not pull a Halan or we if, we if we did not pull a Rania out of this last pack here. Um, let's see. Oh, we got a green. Oh, that's cool. I do like the green. So no Halan or Rania in this um, 93 of 99 there. So yeah, no Halan or Rania in this box. That's unfortunate, but, you know, first first pack opening in the books. I have some other packs I want to open up soon. Um, so for soccer in general. 2018, I think, is going to be a very pivotal year where we saw, like, a ton of big names get their rookie cards either in uh, Optic or in some sort of Topps product. But the thing with Panini is they are using the rookie card logo. So that's that's going to be a big deal because that means I think Topps is going to have to, at some point in the near future, have to come up with some sort of rookie card logo. Now, basically, the hit out of this box was this guy. I have no way. I don't know what his name is. Um, it looks like he played in the Premier League, number to 50. We also pulled a number to 50 other card and then a green. Uh, but that's basically going to be it for the pack opening. I can go, there's not, there wasn't really anything super crazy. I mean, I like the inserts. You know, it's unfortunate that we didn't pull the Holland or Rania, but that's all right. So thank you all for watching this episode of the Heroes for Sale YouTube channel. First pack opening the books. Thank you all for watching. Go follow on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and then subscribe on YouTube and like this video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.